Whoa, hello and good evening. This is the Philo Show on Solihull Radio going out to Solihull, Birmingham and the rest of the world. Good evening and thank you for joining me this evening. It's nice to be with you here on a Sunday evening. It's uh, just gone five past six and I'm with you through until... Ooh, about eight o'clock this evening. So I hope you're going to join me and uh, get involved or at least sit there in the comfort of your home or your motor car and listen to the great show that I've got lined up for you this evening. Well, I think it's a great show anyway, so I hope you do too. Of course, you can get involved in the show and I would love you to do so. If you would like to get in touch, please drop me an email to studio at solihullradio.com. That's studio at at solihullradio.com with a message, any requests that you may have or anything particular that you want to talk about, any feedback that you may have. How's your week gone? Uh, I'd love to hear that too. Also, you can text me here at the studio uh, by texting the word studio and your message to 8 triple. Two eight. That's text the word studio and your message to eight triple two eight, and that should get through to me here in the studio. So uh, how has your week been? You may have noticed right at the start, we had a little bit of silence as we swapped over from Lee to I. Not only was I saying goodbye to Lee as she uh, had to dash off to look after her puppy and wash paint out of her hair, but uh, also uh, my jingle had disappeared um, and I can't find it. So you are the Philo Show jingle free uh, this evening. Uh, no idea where that's gone to. It's disappeared off the computer it obviously drove somebody absolutely crazy uh, and they've gone delete it's gone so we'll have to get a new jingle made i might bring the old one back or we might do some new ones if you've got anything you want to hear in a jingle any particular tunes anything you think may work for me uh, then I'd love to hear from you. And you can do that by uh, dropping me an email or a text through to the studio. And a reminder, that's studio at solihullradio.com. I would love to, genuinely, I would love to hear from you. So please drop me a line. Uh, so what have you been doing this week? We've had some beautiful weather, haven't we? One of the most talked about subjects uh, in conversation. You know, you talk about uh, hairdresser conversations and those sort of conversations that take place on a regular occurrence. Weather being up there uh, along with relationships. And I guess hair is probably another one as well. Uh, so I'm Phil Aldershaw. I'm going to be with you through until eight o'clock. I'm happy to take any requests uh, that you may have. And it's always great to hear the songs of your choice. I might even get somebody to uh, give us a call here in the studio. I'll give you the studio telephone number shortly. So uh, if you've got a, a particular song and you want to tell me how your week's gone and why this song is special to you, then I'll get you to uh, call in with that. Also, my guest this evening, uh, coming up a little later on, is George Windsor. Yes, I got the name right this time. George Windsor is going to be on the show with me. He's a singer, songwriter, local from Cannock. And he's also involved in the Birmingham fashion extravaganza that's taking place next Sunday at the McDonald Burlington Hotel. Uh, the great thing about that is I was there this week, which I'll tell you a little more about. But uh, I think we're going to go into this one. This is a brand new track from a very special lady. You may have heard of her. Her name is Celine Dion. And this one, when you talk about uplifting and powerful tracks that make you feel good, just listen to this. There's something shifting in the air If I'm not mistaken Dust is clearing everywhere Memories awaken my feet on the runway. It's a beautiful day. I look to the sky now. I'm fighting my way. I'm flying. Yeah. 
It's a beautiful day. I look to the sky now. I'm finding my way. I'm flying on my own. I'm flying on my own. I'm flying on my own. Flying on my own. Flying on my own. I'm flying on my own. I'm flying on my own. I'm flying on my own. Flying on my own. Flying on my own. Flying on my own. Wow, what did you think of that? Absolutely fantastic. Brand new single from Celine Dion. I love that. I really do. Um, I hope you do too. Yeah, of course. So a great show lined up for you. We're going to be talking all sorts of things. It's the Buskin Battles final taking place this weekend. Uh uh, and those are already out online. We'll come on to that very shortly. We've got our special guest, George Windsor, coming up for us. Um, I'm also going to... Do you remember Relly C, who um, performed on X Factor? Well, I seen her the other night. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit around that. But uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, you know when something is... You just know that things are going your way and... Um, Everything is good. And I'm in a receiving mood at the moment. And I'm receiving from the universe and great things are coming my way. And with that frame of mind, I was walking up the street in Birmingham City Centre yesterday, up from St. Martin's Church in between the ball ring. And a lottery ticket blew and landed right on my feet. And I was with my friend and I bent down and I picked up this lottery ticket. And um, I looked at it and it was for yesterday's date and I said to my friend oh look there's two winning numbers then I sort of looked around there was nobody around it blew down the street it was a busy street what do you do with it so I took it home um, and then this morning I checked the lottery numbers and I'd won 30 pounds on there and I was like well destiny brought that to me um, so I went and done something very special with it and um, gave it away basically uh, but you know, when it's lovely when nice things happen to you. If you've had something nice happen to you, something special that's made you feel good, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I really would. So uh, drop me a line to studio at solihallradio.com and I will have a chat. We'll discuss it here on air. And, of course, a beautiful track that goes with that. This just made me think exactly of that occasion yesterday.
What do you think of that bit of ABBA? Money, money, money. Wow. Do you know, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago on the show, that ABBA have spent their album there, I think it's ABBA Gold or Greatest Hits, has spent over 900 weeks in the charts. Over 900 weeks in the album charts. That is simply incredible. Um, Really, really pleased for them. And of course, they are an absolute class act. So how's your week been? This is the Phil O Show on Solihull Radio going out to Solihull, Birmingham and the rest of the world. I'm with you 6 until 8 p.m. BST. Yes, we are still in BST, I do believe. Does that change at some point? It's got to be soon, hasn't it? When do the clocks change? Um, If you know the answer to that, then feel free to let me know. So, um, of course, if you want to get in touch with me here at the show today, then please feel free to drop me a line um, to studio at solihullradio.com that's studio at solihullradio.com and i would love to have a chat with you um it's been one of those weeks i remember i'm not going to get morbid here uh i'm just going to talk fact the thing about life is we know there's death life and death it happens to us all there's no stopping it some uh sadly sooner than others um so we all generally go to uh, pay our respects to loved ones, friends, family members um, that may have meant something very special in our lives. And, um, you know, they can affect us in many ways. I always love to celebrate the great moments because obviously once that situation happens and they're no longer in this world as we know it, then they move on to somewhere else, depending on what you believe. Uh, I certainly believe that the soul disappears um, to have a new journey, a new experience, and they're just on another dimension or plane. Uh, That's my belief. So I always like to celebrate somebody's life and remember the good times, although it often leaves a gap in one's uh, heart, really, where we used to spend time chatting with them, experiencing things with them. So last night I went to a memorial gig um, at a venue in town, the lovely Eden Bar, um, where some friends of mine had got together to put on a show for um, the lovely Asa Ashton. Uh, And Asa had recently passed away in Gran Canaria, where he'd been spending his life uh, in more recent years, I think the last 12 years or so, um, performing out there and working in that beautiful Canarian sunshine, living his best life. Um, And it made me think about the people that are often gone too soon and the great energies that they have. And I was trying to think of a track that would best suit him uh, to show my respects after uh, so many people performed on stage last night with a lovely uh, Champagne Shirley hosting the event. And it was lovely to see how many people did take part and want to show their beautiful support um, in honour of such a great showman. Uh, And then it made me think of this lovely song, and I couldn't think of one better. Waking in the rubble Walking over glass Neighbors say we're troubled Well, that time has passed Peering from the mirror No, that isn't me A stranger getting nearer Who can this person be? You wouldn't know me at all today From the fading light of life Your business, act as 
Like a phoenix, Conchita first there. Do you remember? Do you watch Eurovision? Do you remember her performing that with that fully grown but nicely trimmed beard in a dress? Who would have thought of such a thing going on on our TV, on the BBC? Oh, jolly good. What? Oh, none of that here. Uh, anyway, uh, that was great to see. Do you know that was 2014 that Conchita performed at the... Uh, it was at Denmark, wasn't it? It was Denmark. Um, and she came first with that uh, to much jubilation. And actually, that reminds me of another friend of mine that has gone too soon, um, Paul Cossingham. Um, and I pay homage and my deepest respect to this beautiful, beautiful man who was there at the um, at, at there at, at the Eurovision Song Contest in Denmark when Conchita, who was from Austria, I do believe, uh, won with that number, and it was just absolutely ecstatic. I remember how crazy everybody went, and we was watching it all on TV and on Tinternet. Um, yeah, be- beautiful. So uh, paying my respects there to the lovely Asa and the lovely Paul. So uh, what else have we got coming up for you this evening? Hang on, I'm just going to change my computer around because I'm going to play you a little clip of this. Right, okay. So I found I found it here on my computer. I'll get a little bit closer in. Uh, so for those of you that didn't know, one of the other shows that I do is a show called um, Busking Battles. Busking Battles goes out each and every week on Birmingham Updates. We've been filming it all over the summer. And basically what we've been doing is going into town and helping buskers get recognised. So I wrote a competition that basically uh, was a format for television, but we've done it online. And we go out and we find some nice quality buskers that are trying to uh, get known and also playing their beautiful music to people of the streets, all different types, whether they play an instrument or sing vocal or or beatbox as well and, you know, all sorts. Um, And then we will go and film one of them perform their best number. Then we'll go to another part of the city and film another one perform their best number. We edit it down and then we put it out onto Birmingham Updates, who were very kindly our our partner for getting this off the ground. And then the general public votes for it. So the audience are the talent scouts because they help us find the buskers out in the streets. And then the audience are the judges too. And then over the course of a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, people vote for it and we uh, announce the winner on the Tuesday. So that went on for eight weeks. We had eight heats. Then we had two semi-finals. And now, 
oh yes, now we are at the final. So uh, the two people that have made it through to the final, we had Maggie Brinner on the show some weeks back. Uh, so Maggie has got through to the final and also Alex Starkey. Uh, and I just want to play this clip of the two of them together. Uh, well, they're not playing together. They're playing separately. Uh, and then you can go away and you can vote on your own accord to see who you want to win. So here we are. What do you think of that? That's Alex Starkey and Maggie Brenner you heard at the start there. Um, they are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So I'm asking for you to take part to find the very first winner for Busking Battles 2019. The winner will receive themselves, of course, that beautiful brand new coveted title. Uh, also, they receive themselves a recording studio session with that was almost like a tongue twister recording studio session with pirate music studios uh here in birmingham and also they win themselves a recording music contract with elegant entertainment who supply all of the top class 
uh, venues around Birmingham uh, and also a lot of them up and down the UK now. And I know they also go to Italy and all sorts of other places as well. Uh, we had Chloe on the show last week and she told us all about um, the company Elegant Entertainment and what she's been up to. Of course, if you want to listen to that, you can go and listen to it on podcast at Solihull Radio, or you can go and listen uh, to Phil Aldershaw, that's me, Phil Aldershaw's podcast, um, also on all good podcast players. Um, so there we are. I'd like to take this opportunity. We also had the lovely Nahanda on the show, who was great, and I'm looking forward to getting Nahanda back. Uh, that girl has just got such vibrant energy and beautiful talent. But, um, yeah, I want to say thank you to each and every busker that has taken part in the show. Um, we've done our best to help them get known to as many people as possible. Also, uh, the lovely Ollie, Sally, um, at Birmingham Updates and all their team. Ewis as well, who's been the most amazing uh, camera guy to work with. Uh, Care Through the Millennium, who was the first sponsor on that. Um, the buskers and also all of the public out there that have taken time to get involved with this fantastic first show. It's been great. And of course, all of the support has helped to get them known. It's had over 1.5 million hits on social media channels, which is fantastic. And of course, it all goes to help just like this show get up and coming musicians and buskers noticed because it's not easy out there. And one of the things that I learned whilst being out on the streets of Birmingham is it's tough um, for, for numerous reasons. A, you're trying to perform and do your best bit and try and get noticed in the street and hopefully people will throw you some change or notes if you're lucky. Um, two, you're fighting with the elements of the city um, and you've got, you know, the, the wind and the rain and the, even the sun I noticed was an issue to buskers if they're in direct sunlight and they suddenly start melting um, like, what is it, Olaf of Frozen. Um, and then, of course, there are some weird and wonderful characters in the city, some really beautiful people, but also some that are certainly not right um so you know I, i've certainly learned a lot about buskers in the city and i take my hat off to each and every one of them that uh goes out there week after week and supplies a beautiful service for people like us uh to hear music when there's a lot of shops closing down um and there's empty spaces in the streets and the buskers just fill up those empty spaces with beautiful beautiful music um so support them uh if you'd like to vote for alex or maggie then go onto the facebook page of birmingham updates and it's the last competition on there uh and we will announce the winner uh on tuesday so i can let you know next week who has won birmingham uh busking battles 2019 okay so uh Something happened. I seen some popcorn the other day, and I'm a bit of a popcorn fan. If you're like me, um, you may like popcorn. And then it suddenly made me think, do you remember this?
<laughs> what did you think of that then? Have you ever heard that before? Or is it something that uh, it was brand new to you? What an experience. That was one of the original tracks uh, that was by Hot Butter, very appropriately. Um, and that was called Popcorn. So, you know, each and every week, I like to try and bring you a track that I found on the Tinternet. Um, and I was having a look through, and this one has, has jumped out to me this week. Um, and, and, it start, and it brings lovely conversation. I've got a few talking points, but uh, I just want to play you this. If you haven't heard this before, you're in for an absolute treat. This is Alex Christensen and the Berlin Orchestra featuring the lovely Melanie C. You know the one from the Spice Girls. Uh, tell me what you think of this. Kisses of the sun were sweet, I didn't blink, I let it in my eyes Like an exotic drink, the radio playing songs That I have never heard, I don't know what to say Oh, not another word, just la-la-la-la-la It goes around the world, just la-la-la-la-la It's all around the world, just la-la-la-la-la And everybody's singing la-la-la-la-la And now the bells are ringing la-la-la-la-la What do you think of that? I like to give you, I hope to think, a treat. So you can find that one on Tinternet. Uh, it's had about one and a half million views, which is a little bit interesting. I thought it might have had more than that. What a beautiful, beautiful song. And you get to see Mel C. Raw in a booth uh, singing that song with the Alex Christensen and Berlin Orchestra. And it's called Around the World featuring Mel C. Uh, and we like a bit of Mel C. Uh, that one in particular uh, is going out to Steve and all of the team over at Nando's at the Fort. I know uh, some of them are listening in. I'm sure they should be working, 
but uh, hi to Nando's. And of course, we love a bit of Nando's, don't we? Uh, nice bit of chicken. Actually, you know, I was, you know, when you're, you're thinking, right, what can I do with chicken? And I just typed in a quick search on the internet. I have no idea what this song is at all, but I just thought that... Uh, we will give it a play and see what comes up. I just try, typed in chicken song to see what comes up. So let's see uh, what this one is. Maybe. Maybe. It's coming. Here it is. Maybe. <laughs> That's a bit slow, isn't it? No, okay, that, that one decided not to, to play. That serves me right for trying to do things really, really off the cuff. Um, so there we are. Right, okay, so let's just go back. So talking of Mel C, of course, we know where Mel C came from, don't we? Do you know? Answers on a postcard? Yes, Mel C, um, of course, uh, came from the Spice Girls. We love a bit of the Spice Girls. But who else was in the Spice Girls? You know the answer? The lovely Emma Bunton was in the Spice Girls. And I'm really pleased to say, I don't know if any of our listeners out there, are you listening? Uh, have you indulged and treated yourself to tickets to Emma Bunton's Christmas party at the Royal Albert Hall? <laughs> I have... Yes, uh, my partner and I shall be going to see Emma Bunton uh, hosting her Christmas party at the Royal Albert Hall on the 6th of December. And I'm really looking forward to it, genuinely, um, because, you know, she's one of the Spice Girls. Earlier on this year, I went to Wembley to see the Spice Girls perform and they were absolutely fantastic. For anybody who knows, I know I don't need to say any more, really, uh, than they were absolutely fantastic. Um, so I was just having a quick look on Tinternet here just to see what we've got by Emma Bunton. And the most popular track by Emma Bunton on the Internet is this one. <laughs>
Baby Bunton. Uh, I, you know what? I actually really can't wait to go to the Christmas party with Emma Bunton. Uh, I've been to quite a few of Mel C's private gigs, and I even went to her sporty is 40 gig um, in London as well. And that was a, a nice private little affair for about 400 of us. And what a great event that was as well. But you just know that she's going to have an array of special guests. She's worked with so many people. She's well and truly loved. Um, so it'll be great to uh, get to see Emma doing what she loves and where she has such passion Um Looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. So coming up very shortly for you, I've got George Windsor, who's going to be talking up and coming music. He's a local singer songwriter all the way from Cannock. Yes, all the way over there. But he works uh, all over the show, he was telling me earlier on. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course, he's involved in the Birmingham fashion extravaganza that's taking place at the McDonald Burlington Hotel uh, next Sunday. I think there's still tickets available for that. So he will be telling us all about that as well. Wherever you're listening from around the country or the world, uh, you could be listening on podcast after the show has gone out. It's Sunday evening. It's Sunday. The What even date is it? Is it Sunday the 22nd today? Sunday the 22nd. It's 8.52. Just coming up to, uh, sorry, not 6.52. I'm looking at my clock. It's at 18, isn't it? It's that 24-hour clock. Um, so, yeah, so wherever you are and wherever you're listening, I hope you're enjoying the Philo show. It goes out to Solihull, Birmingham and the rest of the world. And I really appreciate you taking the time week in, week out to have a listen. Or if you're listening to my podcast for the first time, thank you. Thank you for joining. Feel free to tell more people about it. Each week we do our best to get special guests either in the studio or on the phone or sometimes both. Uh, and it's great to have them on board. I just want to say a good evening to uh, my parents down in Devon, in the lovely part of uh, Devon that is Brixham, down by the sea. And I know they've got Dean and Karen who have gone over for a freebie lunch this afternoon. So I hope you've enjoyed your uh, Sunday not roast lunch. Um, I went out for a roast lunch earlier with some lovely friends of mine, uh, with the lovely Steve also, uh, Tracy and Neil. And we went to the Birmingham Museum um, and they do the most amazing Sunday lunch there. And if there's two of you go, you get two for £20. Pounds, uh, proper roast dinner. And we had some uh, turnip and carrots and peas and cabbage. The largest, largest, um, oh, what's that thing? Yorkshire pudding. Huge, absolutely huge, beautifully crisp on the outside as well, but huge, almost like a one-man tent um, on the plate and a beautiful bit of pork with that, with apple and any other sauces that you want. Uh, so a big thank you to them because they were absolutely rammed in there today. But if you haven't been in there for a bite to eat, the room is beautiful and it's huge and it's got beautiful um design to it it's well worth a visit which i'm sort of shooting myself in the foot aren't i because um what i'm actually doing is uh making sure that it's busy for next time i decide to go so uh don't all rush take 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 it in turns um anyway uh, i was thinking what can we do next we've got george coming up in oh, about five or six minutes time we'll have him here 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 uh, we'll have him here on the show so uh, I think we'll do, what should we do? Uh, do you fancy a bit of Amy Winehouse? I haven't heard from her for a while. Let's give this a go. Tonight you're mine completely You give your Or 
Amy Winehouse, such an amazing talent, and we lost her far too soon, didn't we? Um, But, gosh, in the time that she was performing, how much fantastic music did she bring to us? Uh, And she's left that gift to us here on the earth. So thank you, Amy Winehouse, for that. Okay, George coming up very shortly, but I just thought I would slip this one in before we uh, get George on the phone and have a bit of an interview with George. I'm writing the song as I'm waiting for you by the phone Clinging to every breath, every beat of my bleeding soul Can't believe I'm possibly on the eve of I don't know why The greatest Romeo and Juliet and the last goodbye As the phone starts to ring, feel his hands wrap around my neck Slightly breathe till your tears stand me through my chest Do you say it's not you, it's on me, my cliche who died The greatest Romeo and Juliet and Alaska by Time just stopped as I clung to every word you say ay, ay. As the phone would drop, there's soon be miles and miles of times away ay, ay. And I walked in reverse to find my wall Oh, oh To fall down from my knees into a crawl Everything to nothing at all And your face gets too tired to shrill You reminisce a little less until Jade kicks you one more time The greatest Romeo and Juliet and the last goodbye Time to stop to the clock to every word you say Hey, hey As the phone would drop the to be miles and miles of times away Hey, hey Reverse to find my wall Oh, oh 
Romeo and Juliet had the last goodbye. We all like a bit of Romeo and Juliet. It's like a classic love story. Uh, So you may not have heard that song before, or you may have, uh, but that was George Windsor performing. Welcome to the show, George. Hello. Thank you so much for having me, Phil. It's really good to be here. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. So uh, it's Solihull Radio. This is the Phil O Show. It's great to have you as a guest on the show tonight. I know we're going to do a double double whammy with you this evening because uh, you're representing the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza. I am. Yeah. And And also you're a very talented local music producer, singer, songwriter as well. Oh, thank you. And uh, I was listening to some of your stuff earlier on. We're going to play your new track that you've just released um, a bit later on. Uh, but just tell us tell us a bit about you. Tell the listeners about George Windsor. If they don't know anything about you, enlighten them about what you do. Okay. So, yeah, as you said, Phil, my name is George Windsor. I'm a 24-year-old singer-songwriter um, from the Midlands. Um I spend a lot of time in Birmingham. Um, I'm currently working on a six-track um, EP, um, which is going to be coming out next year. Um, but, you know, everything's really good at the moment. You know, I came off a European tour with a Billboard Hot 100 artist, um, Brian Hudson, in March. Wow. You know, we've, re- we've released a new single, um, Tainted Love, which is a remake of the um, Soft Cell Classic. So everything's going amazing. Um, we've had really good response to the track and the video. But yes, that leads me on to the next thing. I am looking forward to the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza. Well, we'll, we'll come on to that shortly. But of course, uh, we'll come on to your new single as well. But you've you've been touring. You've been doing stuff all over the show, have you? Yeah. So we was in Europe in March. We did London. Belgium, Amsterdam, um, you know, so we did we did quite a few shows um, and it was really, really good because, you know, it was me going around the world, you know, which I absolutely love. I love traveling. Indeed. But, um, you know, it was supporting a Billboard Hot 100 artist, um, which was absolutely amazing. And that's uh, Brian Hudson from New York. He's uh, phenomenal. But um, yeah, we've just been really, really busy. And then obviously we came... Um, to releasing the Tainted Love track, which was kept under wraps for a very long time. Um, So when we got to release it, it was just a big sigh of relief. You know, it was just, thank goodness, you know, we we can release the track now. Um, But yeah, it's been a really, really busy year. It's been quite strange. It's great. So how how old are you now, George? I'm 24 now. 24. So to be able to travel and do something that you love singing, because you've got to love it to be able to go out there and sing with passion. So what's that like to be able to travel and do what you love? Well, I'm really, really lucky, Phil. You know, there's a lot of other artists that, you know, are hustling and on the grind and they they don't get the opportunity that I get. But, you know, I've I've had to work so hard over the years to get to where I want to be. So, you know, it's it's a little bit surreal at times. I definitely have a lot of pinch me moments, you know, the people that I get to work with and, you know, the performances I get to do. Um, So it's sometimes it's quite emotional because it's just, you know, crazy how far I've come. And, you know, when I get my family or, you know, a close friend remind me of from where I was a few years ago, it's just it's a little bit surreal. Well, you know what they say: no pain, no gain. So you've got to, yes. you've got to put in the hours, haven't you? And that means yeah, it's, too. it's a hard industry, and you've got to keep going. You know, there's so many times that you want to throw the towel in, but you just have to keep going. Lovely. So, um, of course, this 
week, I'll say this weekend, because we're on this Sunday already. So next Sunday, you're doing the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza, which yeah. you are an ambassador for. But before we go on to that, um, I always get guests to choose uh, two or three tracks that mean something from their life. It might be something that's encouraged them or a song that means something in particular. Um, yeah. And you've given me two tracks. I've got one yeah. by Avicii and one by Alice Chatter. Uh, yeah. or Ch- do you say Chater? Chatter? Well, it's Chater, but I used to call her Chatter. She's probably going to hate me for saying that. I'm really sorry, Alice. Well, maybe she talks a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so but which yeah, one Which one do you want to go for stuff. first? I think we should, you know, start it off with a bang and, you know, we should put the, the Alice Chater song on because it's, you know, it's a, it's a new song. I mean, everyone's going to be like, that inspires you. That's not even an old song. But, you know, I I get very much inspired in real life of what's happening right now. And that song has pushed me. It's only been out a few months, but it's pushed me so much and it's opened so many doors for me. So, yes, let's share that with everyone. Lovely. OK, so do you want to do the intro for this song? So this is Alice Chater and this is Tonight. <laughs> it the lovely alice chater there that's a brand new one for me and i love that song thank you for introducing me to that uh that's lovely no not a problem it's a great track it honestly is it's a it's a great great track yeah you were just telling me we were just having a quick chat on the phone while that song was playing about how inspirational that song is for you and the energy and positivity it brings you yes it's do you know what it is phil you know as i said you know there's so many people that think the, the music industry is this glamorous, you know, fruity lifestyle. And don't get me wrong, it really is. But you have your moments when you're on your own as an artist. And like I was telling you, I was in a very dark place six months ago. And I was, you know, really 
really struggling to move forward as an artist. And, you know, I listened to that song and she she said in an interview, Alice did, um, you know, if, what would you do if, if the world was ending, if you had one last day, you know, what? and that's what that song's about. And hers was, you know, I'd go and see my, my lover, I'd tell him I love him, and me, it was where I would bang down every single record label in the world and got every deal that I, I ever aspired to get, do you know what I mean? So it, it really motivated me, but it made me realise that it's all or nothing in this industry and you've just got to keep going forward. Oh, oh my God. That, do you know what? You deserve to do incredibly well, purely based on that attitude oh, alone. You. If any of our uh, listeners are wondering about how to succeed in life when times are tough, you know, everybody goes through that journey and we all have the ups and downs, as I call it, the uh, roller coaster of life. So uh, you know what to do, you know, just yeah. keep, keep on going, keep trying hard. So listen, George, tell us, you're involved in the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza taking place next uh, next Sunday at the yes. McDonald Burlington Hotel. So tell us what's going to be happening there. So it's the biggest, um, newest fashion show coming to Birmingham. It's got international and national designers from all around the world and all over the UK, um, you know, celebrity designers as well. But the, the thing about this show is that it's all in aid of Mind, the mm. mental health charity, which is close to so many people's hearts. And, you know, we've only scratched the surface with mental health, you know, if, if we think about it. But, you know, there's so much so much diversity included in this show. I've never seen anything like it. And I really do believe in pushing boundaries. And this show does just that. You know, you've got, you know, people from all over the world coming in for this show. Um, you know, we've got myself that's an ambassador. You've got, you know, some celebrities that are attending from last year's Big Brother, um, Isaac the Group, and... Um, Sean Hampshire, she's going to be oh, there. Lovely, so lovely. They're, all, they're also ambassadors for um, the fashion show. But there's just been so much hard work going to it. And throughout the whole time of this planning and process, one thing that, they, you know, that they've kept and stuck at is the, the focal point is the mental health. And they have kept that word so true you know, throughout the whole planning process. It's just been really inspiring to, to be a part of. But um, I'm performing, obviously. Um, so I'm really excited to put, to get back out on the stage and perform. Um, Fantastic! Do you like doing live oh, gigs like that? Do you know what I love doing live live gigs because you you know there's so much time and effort that goes into my shows, the choreography, you know, the outfits, the you know, the meaning behind the songs, you know, absolutely everything. And when you get to display that to an audience, you know, you just you have a little a nice moment, you know, just like you know, you're expressing everything that you're feeling and everything that's relevant because mental health is so relevant at the moment. It, it is, it is. And it's amazing how many people it uh, it does affect, actually. But, of course, we are all um, managed by our brain. Although the thing is, they always say, try and manage your brain. Don't let your brain manage you. But, yeah, um, yeah we're all managed by our brain. So the important thing is to uh, make sure that we think positive thoughts, but also try and help other people because we're not always in sync and not everybody's always feeling their best. And it's nice to help yeah. us to, to, you know, inspire. There's a lot of people, especially with internet, you see so many people that will make negative comments and lots of, um, mm -hmm. what do they call it, trolling on the net? Yeah. And trolling. you think, why don't you use positivity to help develop and build people up instead of... Yeah. Um, you know, instead of not building them up, really. Uh, well, that's it. And, I, you know, I'm a big believer in celebrating everyone's success. There's no need to have jealousy or bitterness, you know. And I believe that, you know, kindness breeds, breeds kindness, you know. So I completely agree with you there. There's no need for trolling, you know. And if people just had a different, you know, set on, you know, how they, they speak to people, I think a lot of people would be feeling a lot better mentally and a little bit more stable and not fragile. Well, I, I love the fact that, that this cause, uh, you know, is doing some really, really great stuff as well as intertwining music, you know, entertainment and fashion. And I, I had the honour of going to the unveiling of the million pound they'd spent doing up the Horton Suite at McDonald Burlington, which is just off New Street. Um, and the venue looks absolutely fantastic, George. You're in for a really, really classy event. I don't know if you've been over since they've, they've reopened it. It's funny you say that because I was there a few years ago um, for a, another fashion show um, and I was in the audience and it was just, I was just so envious and so inspired watching the other performers yes. at the time um, on the stage. And it's a little bit mad that I'm now 
you know, we'll headlining with others, you know, on that show. It's just it's just a bit mad. It's that positive like it's energy. Nice. You know it's what? You, you put it out to the universe and it shall come back. A bit yes. like my finding of a lottery ticket in the street yesterday. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> always grateful. So, listen, we'll go into your next song, um, which is by another one, Gone Far Too Soon. I absolutely love this guy. And to think that we won't have any more brand new music coming from him. But uh, Avicii, yeah. Avicii. So, Lonely Together. Yes, it's it's just such a special song to me. I, I sang that um, song at the. Uh, I, I did a performance for seventy thousand people um, at the Wolverhampton Wanderers Premier League party in the park. Oh um, yes, and I was I was supporting Beverly Knight. Um, oh, she's and, fantastic. Oh, uh, she's phenomenal, isn't she? But you know, I performed this song there, and it was that was another moment where mental health, you know, the system failed because there was someone there. Um, you know, as an artist that was crying out for help and didn't get the help that they needed. Um, and when I performed that song, you know, everyone put their flags up and everyone just had a like, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a surreal moment. Everyone just went quiet throughout the whole song. Yeah. And it was, um, it was a bit, bit strange, but you know, it's just, it just shows, you know, no one's safe from mental health really. But, um, it's a great song. It inspired me to just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, it's, it's just a really good song that puts you in a mind frame of, you know, you've just got to keep going till you get to where you want to get, basically. I think you sum it up nicely. So this one features the lovely Rita Ora. It's a VG with Lonely Together. <laughs> I cut the edge of the knife and it hurts just a little Yeah, and I know, and I know, and I know, and I know that I can't be your friend It's my head on my heart and I'm caught in the middle There we are, Rita Ora with Avicii and Lonely Together. Uh, that was a beautiful song, nicely chosen, George. Gorgeous song, absolutely beautiful, and it was beautifully written. 
Yeah, so if you're just tuning us on Solihull Radio this evening, going out to Solihull, Birmingham, and the rest of the world, this is The Philo Show, and my guest is George Windsor, local singer, songwriter, uh, live on the show, and also representing Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza, which is taking place next Sunday. Actually, George, while I think about it, are there any tickets available for next week still? Yes, there are, there are a few tickets left, so I would recommend going on to, um, you can go onto the website and onto the Instagram page. Um, you can find a link in the bios, but if you go onto the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza website, um, you will be taken directly to the ticket link. Super. So if you just type into Google Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza or in Facebook, that will come up and you'll find a ticket link there. And you too can see George performing yes. next week. And uh, I may even pop in myself. Um, it Amazing. depends what time I can get away from this show, you see. Um, yes. Not that I want to leave my beautiful listeners <laughs> <laughs> wherever they are all around I the world. I know, your lovely listeners. Oh, no, it's great. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so we were just talking, actually. Uh, what were we just talking about whilst we was on the break there? We were talking about... Um, remind me, George, your mind is younger we, than mine. We was, we was talking about, you know, mental health and just, you know how, you know, when you're, when you're into music, you know, it can take you into a different world, you know, you know, you can be transported into a different world with music. It's but like I was telling you, creates when, I was, mood, young, doesn't it? That's when right. I was a younger guy, I was, you know, when I was a little boy, I used to listen to music and um, I used to be on my own and I'd be transported to a complete different world and I could be myself and no one judged me, no one could, you know, make any comment about me and, you know, then I grew to be a tough cookie and just not paying any attention to all of that. But, you know, it's, it's just music. It's so underrated, you know. It's so underrated with the therapy options that are available now. Oh, do you, do you know what? You're, you're a beautifully spirited and heartfelt musician um, that, that obviously gives a lot of love to the world. And, you know, your thoughts there are, are absolutely perfect. And, of course, there are a lot of mental health issues out there. And uh, if you know somebody that's suffering with mental health, obviously there's lots of places that you can find online, Google, uh, or spend a bit of time with them and just find out, you know, life is all about people, isn't it? And we should make more time for people. Instead of having our head, heads stuck down in our phones and our computers, spend time looking yeah. at each other face-to-face -face and, and interacting with them. Do you, know what, do you know what's been irritating me a lot recently? <laughs> recently, And it's something because I, I, you know, I have a lot of love to give to the world and to people. You know, I absolutely love people. I love learning new things about them. But, you know, I do have, you know, an assertive side to me. And something that's been bothering me recently is that, you know, everyone's quick to put up a quote on social media, but no one actually does anything to, you know, check on that friend that's gone quiet, you know, you know, people just need to be more proactive, I think. I think the awareness is there, but I just think, you know, we could be doing so much more, you know, as human beings to, to aid mental health, you know, rather than just put a quote up on social media, you know, get on the phone, offer that support, you know, I just think we could be doing so much more. Do you know what? I totally agree. And the other thing with social media is, as we see time and time again, people will put quotes up or posts and they will paint this completely different picture of what could really be going on in their life. Yeah. And it's about looking out for the signs and things that stand out. And actually, this is probably a good opportunity. A friend of mine has literally just texted me saying, Phil, lovely listening to the show, listening to you and George. George sounds as though he's got his head screwed on and we wish him all the best. Um, I love seeing oh, your posts. So, so he said to me, I love seeing your posts and I hope you've had a fab week and a fab weekend. It looks like you have. Just felt I needed to send a message to such a positive soul like yourself as we need some positivity with this Thomas Cook issue. So he works with Thomas Cook. Uh, hope right. to see you soon. But then it made me think, you know, there's 20 odd thousand people that work for Thomas Cook that... Um, you know, are all worried about their jobs at the moment. I know people are worried about their holidays, but yeah. there's people that are worried about their livelihoods. Yeah. And, of course, that must be a, a huge mental strain on people, yeah, you know, thinking how they're going to pay their bills. So uh, I guess from yourself and I, we want to wish anybody who's involved with Thomas Cook, if you've spent some money and you're worried about your holiday, I, you know, we send some 
regards to you. But if you've got a job with Thomas Cook, we're sending you some extra love from Solid yeah, Radio and the Phil O Show tonight. Myself and George Windsor, because we know you'll need it at this time. And we really hope that Thomas Cook managed to sort out any issues yeah. that they've got. And, and do, you know what, do you know what it is with that as well, Phil? You know, what we need to really look at, because I'm one of these people that, you know, we have to really look at the bigger picture. Um, you know, everyone's like, okay, freaking out, you know, going, you know, absolutely berserk because they're losing a couple thousand pounds on a holiday. And I understand, you know, a couple thousand pounds is a lot of money. It's a lot of money to me. It's a lot of money to a lot of people. But these people have lost their jobs. You know, they're in the uncertainty. Of course, there's going to be cuts. Or, made almost. Be, we'll, say, we'll say almost. You know, we don't know for definite it, yet, but almost. Yeah, almost. You know, but it's so close to Christmas. You know, they've yes. got their own families. You know, yes. you, we really need to look at the bigger picture. But, you know, obviously it's upsetting for a lot of people, but it's, it's just having a domino effect, isn't it? It does. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll send them We'll send them lots of love. So, George, Definitely. just give the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza another push. Tell everybody where they can get tickets, what yes. sort of event it's going to be. So next Sunday at 4.30 p.m. at the McDonald Burlington Hotel, right in the city centre. Like, it's literally a 30-second walk from New Street. It you is. Know, we have the Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza, which is a completely unique and diverse fashion show to Birmingham, something new of its kind, which I can't give away too much. You do need to attend to see. Um, you know, it's a celebrity fashion show. There's national and international designers. There's going to be musical performances. Myself, I'm performing. Um, there's going to be celebrities there. It's going to be a really good, good, really fun, but nice event for Birmingham City Centre. And, you know, what do people do on their Sundays, let's be honest? You know, everyone chill. Just come out and have a really good time. You know, hopefully chilling listening to me. <laughs> yes, and hopefully you can come, Phil. Yeah, well, yes, let's let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can get over there. Uh, yeah, well, well, well I'll, I'll certainly try and plan something. Okay, so if they want to get tickets, they can check it out on the internet, Facebook or Google, and just type in Birmingham Fashion Extravaganza, and they... It is so findable, guys. There's a few tickets left. It's everywhere. All right, George. Well, listen, you're local. It's been great to have you on the show this evening. You've been a... I know you've been a last-minute guest, but it's been an absolute delight, and maybe we can get you on the show again in the near future, either get you to come over to the studio, or again, we can do something over the phone. Definitely, definitely, uh, Phil. Thank you for having me. It's you're been, easy to chat really to. Nice no, yeah, you're easy to chat to. You've got beautiful, positive energy, and we need more people like you in the world <laughs> <that's> spreading, <laughs> spreading that beautiful joy as well as wonderful music. Thank you so much. So, so just tell us. We've got your latest release. Um, that I, I was just having a look. I found this one on Spotify, but I'm sure it's on all other good platforms. Yes, it's on all major digital platforms. As well. And I remember this being done by Mark Ormond. I've actually seen Mark Ormond uh, perform this live. Um, he's a legend. Oh, he's talented. He's very talented. Very talented. Uh, so you've gone for Tainted Love. Tell me why you chose this, George. So this was last year. It was um, it was around September last year. Um I was just, you know, feeling, a, a, I was getting a little bit sensitive to, you know, the single life, you know, but, you know, that doesn't bother me anymore. But I was just getting a little bit sensitive. And, you know, I just wanted to put something out that was relevant to me at the time. Um, you know, but I wanted to put my own spin on it. I wanted to do a little bit of a remake. Um, but I wanted to pay homage to Mark as well, because, you know, growing up, I listened to his music and it inspired me so much. Um, you know, I just wanted to pay a little bit of homage to him. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, we produced a track with um, a guy called Damon Hess, who's um, a really, really big DJ. He's just come back from Ibiza. He's just done his season in Ibiza. But um, we collaborated on this, and um, you know, we shot the music video in Birmingham in the Jewelry Quarter, so we kept it nice and local. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was a really good song to record, and um, it's done really, really well. Um, so much better than what I anticipated. Good, good. And it's still got more to come. And it's still still got more to come. So say good night. It's been great having you on the show. Say good night to our lovely listeners. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that's been tuned in and listened, you know. And thank you everyone that's dropped a text in as well. You know, I I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you at a show or something sometime. Fantastic. So feel free to introduce your own single on the Philo Show on Solihull Radio. So my name is George Windsor. It's been an absolute pleasure. And this is my new single, Tainted Love.
Sometimes I feel I've got to run away. I've got to get away from the pain that you drive into the heart of me. The love we share seems to go nowhere. And I've lost my life for a toss and turn. I can't sleep at night. Once I ran to you. was George Windsor with Tainted Love. What a lovely, lovely lad to chat to. And uh, that's his new single. You can find that on uh, Spotify and all other good platforms, I'm sure. Uh, And that's the Mark Allman cover of Tainted Love. We hope that does well for him. Great to have him on the show this evening. Uh, So... What was I doing this week? We were talking about the Burlington Hotel, or what they now call the McDonald Burlington Hotel. And uh, when I was there, I was there, I was kindly invited along for the launch um, of, uh, they'd spent a million pound refurbing the Horton Suite. So I was invited along to this rather salubrious reception with very, uh, quite a few distinguished guests there, and I happened to be put on table one. Um, didn't think anything about the numbers, but it turns out that I was sat next to um, Rory MacDonald, who is the man who owns MacDonald Hotels with his father and family, uh, and he's the man that runs all of the uh, caboodle these days. Also, there was the lovely Amy and Kirsty and Elegant Entertainment uh, we had the lovely Chloe on the show last week. We're also doing the entertainment there. And I'm telling you, this launch was fantastic. I thought we was going to arrive. I obviously hadn't read the invite properly. Uh, I thought we was going to have some uh, champagne and cocktails or something like that and some canapes and that sort of thing. But it turned out that we had a beautiful three-course meal and some incredible entertainment um, from people spinning on hoops to people playing some uh, jazz and brass, uh, fire eaters. Um, They carved the food, the beef they carved 
on uh, the stage like a theatre show and the staff walked down the platform of the stage uh, collected their beef on the plates and then brought it out to the tables it was it was so beautiful to see but then as we got towards the end of the evening it was a school night so we were finishing quite early half 10 11 o'clock I think about 11 o'clock ish um, and this person uh, performed on stage and I'm watching her and I'm thinking I know who this person is and then all of a sudden they play an X Factor video clip um, of all of the best bits you know that that sort of thing that you see that montage um, and she was utterly incredible and she works at the hotel it was a while ago 2013 that she was on the X Factor but let me just give you a taste this is Relly C uh, it may May ring a bell to you, uh, but this definitely will do. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've, I haven't cancelled one of the tracks off there, so let me just try and cancel that track off, and we'll go back to that. Here are. Right, here she is. I used to look into my father's eyes In a happy home I was a queen, I had a golden throne but those days are gone Now the memories on the wall And I still hear that song From the places where I was born Upon a hill across a blue lake That's where I had my first heartbreak I still remember when it all There you are, you get the idea. That's Relly C. That was doing the auditions uh, on the on the X Factor. Oh, let me turn that off. Where's she gone? Yeah, that was Relly C doing the auditions on the X Factor. Uh, but then I filmed a little clip while I was at the event on Thursday night at the McDonald Burlington Hotel. And this was her performing live on stage. I've never done this before. I'm just connecting it up to my phone. Uh, we've got all mod cons here. It's so whether I can uh, make it work for me. So let's just give this a try. Oh, there's something definitely not working. Oh, there we are. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to get across the moment, the experience that I had uh, whilst there last week. The girl is absolutely incredible. So I've dropped her an email, and hopefully we're going to get Relly C on the show at some point. Uh, she is a local girl, and uh, I just think it would be an absolute joy to get her six years on, six years on. On from doing the X Factor and find out, uh, you know, what she's been up to, um, and also, you know, what what she's got coming up as well. It's always great to support local artists, and that's what we try to do here with the Philo Show. Uh, she actually got through to the judges' homes, and uh, something like that must be the most incredible experience but then to also come out of the limelight as well afterwards must be must be quite difficult you've got to be really really positive and tenacious to be able to move forward from that when you're so close but then you know the industry moves along so quick especially those shows like x factor etc so hopefully we'll have Relly C on the show. Let's hope she gets back. If you're listening, Relly, I'd love to have you on the Philo Show here on Solihull Radio uh, so we can have a chat about your musical career so far and the whole experience 
of X Factor. Uh, what she reminded me of on stage watching her on Thursday was just a beautiful bag of energy just bursting, you know, out of all seams with this incredible talent that she has. Um, and then that reminded me of this song. Do you remember this? <laughs> Plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. Do you ever feel this so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? Do you ever feel already buried deep, six feet under screens, but no one seems to hear a thing? Do you know that there's still a chance for you? 'Cause there's a spark in you, you just gotta ignite. The light and let it shine. Just on the night, like the fourth of July. 'Cause baby, you're a firework. Come on, show 'em what you work. Make 'em go up, 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 as you shoot across the sky. Lovely bit of Katy Perry there. We do love a bit of Katy Perry. That woman rocks it. She's like my early Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus does it for me these days. But Katy Perry, wow, I take my hat off to you. You're incredible. Um, so we're coming towards the end of the show. I never understand where the time goes. It disappears at such a pace. It's just coming up to quarter to eight on a Sunday evening. This is a fellow show going out to Solihull, Birmingham, and the rest of the world. If you're listening live on the radio now, thank you, or tuning in on podcast, thank you very much for taking the time and effort to do so. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to say uh, a big hello to all of my fellow EAMers out there, the Energy Alignment Method. Uh, 
led by the lovely Yvette Taylor. Hello to each and every one of you. When I met up with them recently, uh, the amount of people that told me they listen into the show and download. So uh, everybody from uh, the Energy Alignment Method, I'm sending you plenty of beauty fill and positive energy from here at the Solihull Studios in Birmingham in the West Midlands. Uh, also, oh gosh, I watched a great film whilst I was away in Spain recently. You know when they had all those storms that you would have seen on the TV? And one night I stayed in with my partner and the thunder and lightning was going off outside. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The thunder was echoing off the side of the mountain in Mahaka, where I was. Um, so we decided to watch a film and I'm just going to give you a little clue what the film was. It'll be an F for you. Yesterday. I'm in G, but it'll be an F. It goes E minor to A seventh to D minor. Ready? Okay, man. <coughs> Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly There's a shadow hanging over me I'm not half the man I used to be Oh Yesterday came suddenly Why she had to go I don't know she wouldn't say I said something wrong Now I long for yesterday Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday Why she had to go I don't know she wouldn't say I said something Yesterday, love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Such, such a beautiful but simple track uh, that just touches you doesn't it the Beatles they've done so many beautiful things but the film that I watched whilst I was away if you hadn't guessed was called Yesterday have you seen it uh, if not I thoroughly recommend it it was not what I thought it was going to be my partner said let's watch this film yesterday and I was like oh I don't want to watch a film about the Beatles not that I dislike the Beatles I think they're fantastic but I was like oh, I'm not really feeling it it was not what I expected and just to give you a, a slight insight into the film, um, nobody knows. A, a storm takes place, an electrical power cut, and uh, this guy, when he comes back around, I'll say no more about that, um, He nobody knows who the Beatles are. Nobody knows. So he suddenly records all their songs, um, and it's just incredible. It's a really beautiful, feel-good film with some great music. Uh, it stars uh, Himesh Patel, uh, Lily James. Ed Sheeran plays a fantastic part and he's in it for quite a while. Uh, Kate McKinnon, uh, James Corden is also in it and Robert Carlyle. There's an array of stars. Sanjeev Bhaskar is in it as well. Um, yeah, there's an array of different stars and it is a really great feel-good film. Uh, and it is based on the Beatles music but with a twist. So look out for that one yesterday. Um, and I'm sure you'll enjoy every moment of it. 
Uh, this next one, I'm just going to play you this. Uh, this lady is going to be on the show in the very near future, and I absolutely love her to bits. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. it the lovely hazel dean i'm really looking forward to having her on the show in the very near future i love that woman used to work with her a lot in the past uh and she's absolutely phenomenal or feel nominal we could say um yes lovely so do you, do you ever get that feeling that um somebody has just walked in beside you and you turn around and there's nobody there so I'm sat here, I'm in the studio on my own, I'm self-producing this evening, and I'm in the studio on my own, and I literally just felt somebody walk up by the side of me, and I felt the cold breeze as they come and stood next to me, and I turned, expecting to see Jeff or somebody here, the, the producer, nobody there. Hmm. I think we're going to need to... Uh investigate this studio somewhat more it's a brand new building that they moved into no it's not a brand new building it's a new location it's a really old building on solihull high street here in uh, the west midlands so uh yeah there's definitely something going on there's a strange feeling oh god <laughs> <laughs> and at that you couldn't have got you couldn't have got better timing at all for that hang on hi jeff how are you doing you're right i'm, I'm good <laughs> did you just hear what i was saying no not at all i i literally not long before you came in yeah i, I felt somebody come in beside me there you go Boom. i felt the energy and 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 then the next thing as I'm talking about it, you suddenly walked through and you made me jump. I must Sorry admit. about that. My <laughs> fault, my fault. How you doing? I'm all right. How's your show been? Oh, it, it, it's great. Yeah. Any, any problems? Um, 
Just me. Just you. <laughs> oh, not to worry. Um, listen, um, if you've been out there today, I've been live at uh, Tudor Grange, Fun in the Park, all day. So thank you to all of the people that we uh, interviewed, and they'll come out as the podcast a little bit later on, perhaps uh, midweek. Hey, what? fantastic. So what were you doing? Uh, just interviewing people, playing in the park. We were, we were set up right the our outside broadcast studio was set up right outside, or right next to, rather, the sweet store. So I've had so much sugar today. It's been amazing. Oh, lovely. Can't beat some sweets. And actually, this is a good opportunity. I forgot to check the emails. Uh, Wendy from Newport Pagnall said it was really, really nice for you to comment about uh, the holiday issue that's going on with Thomas Cook. Her daughter Mm. works for Thomas Cook, and she wants to send all the Thomas Cook staff her best wishes and hope that it's a good result and she said this is quite an iconic song and i'm trying to think what your connection was here wendy can you play i want to break free by queen (laughs) (laughs) that there's something quite bizarre about the choice of of music there i'll see whether i can squeeze a few bars in from that um in fact let's 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 just have a quick hit from that jeff and we'll come back to you no problems There we are, Wendy, and to everybody else, that goes out to you. Let's hope that they sort out this whole holiday thing with Thomas Cook. We wish you the best from 
us here at Solly Hall Radio. Uh, this is the Philo Show. I thank you for joining us on a Sunday evening, wherever you are around the country or around the world. Thank you for listening in. Uh, my name is Phil Oldershaw. You have been listening to the Philo Show, and I'm very grateful to have you each and every week. I'll be back with you next Sunday from 6 until 8 p.m. Please, I do hope that you join me. I've got some great guests for you next week. And uh, thanks very much. SolihullRadio.com